We are in Milan, Italy, outside of the Castello Sforzesco, one of the most important building, monument, ancient monument here in Milan. So I received these questions and I will answer them. You are very proud of Naples and its Assange supporters. Naples is the first city to grant honorary citizenship to Assange. Now, many Italian towns and cities have. Why did this, why this strong love for Julian in your country? Finally, I, will, I would like to say, uh, finally also in Italy, something still changed and is moving in supporting of Julian. Uh, yeah, because in Italy we receive not so much information from the media and it takes lots of time before the story of Julian arrived to the Italians. Now I'm very, very proud because as you asked me in the, in the, in the, in the question, the Naples, Naples is the first big cities all over the world to give the honorary citizen to Julian. Naples is, uh, is Naples, in a way is not Italy. They live next to the volcano Vesuvio and under their feet they have the uh, magma. So probably this energy comes from the, from the ground and arrives to their, to their body and give this special attitude. Uh, about the other the other cities, yes, they uh, there are a lot of supporters that are growing up day by day, and today in Milan we have a lot of them. I think that this strong, strong love comes exactly because people start to understand why it's so important the story of Julian Assange for all of us. Because until he is still in, in jail, also our right to know will be in jail. Uh, and if we will save Julian, we will save ourselves, the people that we love, and also the world that will, will love to kill Julian. Second question. Since 2015, you have traveled widely with your sculpture. Anything to say? What are some special moments that come to your minds as we speak? Uh, we realize in community with the others, Italian group, the, the Italian tour uh, that started from Milan then Naples, Roma, Bologna, and now again in Milan. And uh, it, it was this, the, the Bologna was the uh, 26 uh, cities where we've been with the statues. And in every single city where we've been, there was a special moment. Because all the events around the statues was full of people, normal people, intellectuals, politicians, artists, and in every city there was something special. For example, in Naples, people used the chair as a tool. People performed on the chairs, because the, the, the chair is, um, is an opportunity we have to run our voices. And uh, in Bologna, there was an amazing speech from uh, Alessandro Bergonzoni, that is an artist and intellectual, who said something amazing to me. And the day after, we had also Monio Vadia, another artist and intellectual, that for 25 minutes, speak out her voice, explaining us how the world, the, the world works in this moment. Uh, with the focus, of, of course, of Julian, because 
from the story of Julian and WikiLeaks depends all the other uh, story of, of the world. Do you remember the moment you realized who Assange is? Yes, I remember exactly the moment. It was in 2010 and uh, on YouTube, I guess, uh, there was uh, a speech that it takes from the TEDx 2010 and it was an interview from the, of, of, the, of an audience and I watched it on, on my computer and I, I was impressed from the the weight of this man the intellectual weight and the feeling was to be in front not exactly in front of him of course but to someone that changed it completely forever the the way to the way of the of the investigative journalism and also the value he has impressed me a lot then I have the fortune four years later to, to, to meet him inside the Ecuadorian embassy, embassy in London and then that moment changed me f completely a, a small, a little uh, fire start to grow up inside myself. I was there to explain him my idea, the project, anything to say, just to inform him that that was one of the way me, in the specific case, could do to uh, keep a light on this amazing story and his amazing story. Davide Dormino, I have two things to say. The first one is thank you. And the second one is free Julian now. Free Julian. <laughs>